thank you for tuning in. The last thing that I'm going to show you this year is this. And um, if you open up a Google Doc, you'll have noticed that Google has added a new feature, and that is an outline feature. So if you see here on your Google Doc, there's a little box here that looks like a piece of writing. It's for the document outline or the Google Doc outline. So because it is June and I'm looking at fun things that you know people want to do this summer, that's what my my topic is here. So just like when you create any other outline, you would highlight what you're doing and then you go up here and so I'm going to call that my heading one because I want it to show up on my outline. Um, same thing here. This is going to be my heading two. So that I have those things ready to go. I can make this here. These kinds of things I can make heading three. And yes, I had to do the spacing, but and then this other one is heading four. Now, as you can see here, it shows you everything. So um, you have everything here ready to go for you. And then what I think is also pretty interesting is I know that a lot of people do various notes uh, during meetings and such. One of the things you can do with this outline feature, that's not the right heading, it's heading four. One of the things that you can do here is if you did this, and even if you just used heading one for your topics or your dates or what have you, if you go down here, it'll go right to it. Um, and so you can also use this like an index. So a couple of great things to use with this new outline feature that showed up on Google Docs. Um, I hope you try it. Let me know how it works, even if you don't use it until next year. Or maybe you will create a list like I did called Fun Things to Do This Summer and Watch, Read, and Do. And so I'm hoping to do all these things this summer, and I hope you have a great one. Thanks for tuning in.